All right, this is me and uh, Jacob up for the day. Today we're gonna be learning how to use a rigid 300 pipe threader. So let's get it. Pull your measurement. Doesn't matter which way you pull from, just remember which side you're gonna be threading. We're gonna be doing a four foot piece. Make sure your other end is as close to level as you can get it. Slide us back. Put it barely in there. So many jokes. So little time. <laughs> Alright, what you want? You get your mark in there. No, it's fine. Next, you're going to lock it down. Pray we don't bugger my ladder up. What I like to do is go ahead and bring it down just a little bit. You can sit on it. You can want to tighten it up. Over here, let me see that phone for a minute. You got uh, Ford in reverse. For your threading and cutting, you want to use Ford. When you're backing out of uh, buggered up threads or something, you can kick it in reverse. Then, of course, off, but we're going to do it in Ford for pretty much everything. This is a brand new unit. Right here, you got your power cord and your foot pedal. You break your foot pedal. Makes it good. You watching too, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. you're turning it, tighten it down a little bit. Don't keep doing it. Just like that for a little bit, tighten it down some more. Just a little bit, tighten it down some more. I might change my pipe though. I might change my pipe. Alright. Get that down. That's going to be our key piece. Go ahead and clean the inside of it. It for the next cut. And that's the scrap piece for the next cut. And he don't go to nothing bigger than two inch. Big as it goes. Well, well that's as big as this one goes. Alright, put it in there and you want to stick out just a little bit. You want to make sure you're before that is what you want. Go ahead and clean this side. Now down here you get your oil bucket. It, you want to keep it underneath where you're cutting. So you can catch all your scrap metal and any oil that's going to fall off. You get your oil pump. Now right here you want to set it. Bring it down to set it. You got your line for your sizes. There's an inch and a half. Two inch right from the bottom unless you're flipping the thing over. You want the line on this block to match up with that line. And it's going to be hit or miss on some of them depending on the age of it and whatnot. All you're going to do, you're going to unscrew that to move it. Lock it down. Down is for threading. Up is to pop it loose. Now, it, as you're threading, you want to keep a little bit of oil on there. Don't, I mean, you ain't got to drown it, but keep a little bit of oil on there. And once you get it started threaded, you can let go of this, but you need to push forward as you start it. you want to do is come to the end of these teeth. Once you're done with that, pop it up, slide it out, raise it up. That's a nice pressure right there. I'm going to run this one back through and clean them teeth up.
tip. What you want to do is find you a fitting. This sucker should get you two spins on there. That's how you know your threads are right. you're here I can't do this with gloves on have your Teflon tote take your dope and your fittings go ahead and fire her up fitting on there, put your pipe wrench right here, lock it down. And that's how you thread with the pipe. Thread a rigid 300. Kill it. Again to mention, hit. You're gonna do that. Bang it a couple times. Unlock it the other way. And also on the back side you got a set of stabilizers. It'll go to reverse. And that's to help hold the pipe straight. While you're threading. Your pipe. Make sure the blade is on your mark and make sure your pipe is landed in between these two wheels so that it turns properly. Otherwise, you're not going to cut crooked. Alright, sorry about the rushed video, y'all. We were kind of racing the weather today and had to build the new pipe thresher. So, I hope this helps anyone. And if y'all can think of anything I'd forgotten or missed out on to help others out, please put it in the comments below and let me know if y'all think of any other trade or anything you're needing help with and till next time thank you